<laughs> Let me get my mic on. Today is uh, Friday, October 4th. It's 8.23 a.m. And I got an offer from Uber Eats to go to Starbucks. I'm going to get $7 for 2.7 miles. Looks like I'm stuck at a school bus. It's 8.25 a.m. And I guess people are still going to school. Oh, good. There it goes. order in the car and now I'm just headed to the drop off three minutes from here 0.6 miles it took a long time to get this one I don't know why it was taking so long other people's orders were ready to go but mine was not so I'm headed off now to a house I have a gate code and it's a please don't knock or ring the doorbell just leave it at the door I'm at the gate let's right see if the gate code works Ay, ay, ay. Bad start to the day, but what can you do? There's nothing you can do about it. Oh man. And it's not even a big order, it's just one little tiny bag with I think just one drink in it. Alright, it's gonna be the house coming up on the left where that stop sign is. This doesn't mess up my tip. Sometimes if it takes too long, the people get upset. They're like, why didn't you contact me and tell me it was taking so long? Or... <laughs> All right, let's drop this off. Uh, 10 51 a.m so far it's been slow this morning and i got something from doordash i'm going to be going over to uh smart and final shopping for four items i'm going to get 12 dollars 75 for 5.3 miles It was an easy shopping experience. It was just four bottles of the same coffee, or like a, you know those flavored syrups they put inside of coffees. It was really easy. The hardest part was just carrying the bottles. It was a, uh, it was four heavy bottles of syrup, and then the cashier put them all in one bag. So I was carrying them all in my in my right arm um, my right hand and so that made it a little bit painful because of the uh, weight but um you know i just did it you now of course now my shoulder feels a little tense from uh carrying it but there's nothing i could do it's like well what am i supposed to do and then i try i i didn't want to take the shopping cart all the way from the exit of the store to my car because the bottles were making this l loud rattling noise and that was that wasn't uh that didn't sound safe so i just went ahead and i 
I abandoned the cart and I just carried the bag of four bottles of um, syrup. Uh, and uh, that's, that's when I noticed, oh shoot, I probably shouldn't have done that because it put stress on my shoulder. And I stuck it in the trunk and now it's in one of my green Uber Eats bags. Uh, eight minutes, 3.4 miles. I'm going to a house and it's a hand it to me. I'm turning into the uh, neighborhood. No gate, got nothing to worry about. My shoulder is getting more tensed up. <laughs> I keep massaging it so that way it uh, loosens up. It's gonna be on the left hand side. Uh, let's see which one it is. Oh, it's that one. Okay. I'm gonna probably hit their trash can. Oh, oops. <laughs> All right, I'm here. That was delivered just fine. The customer was disabled and was using a walker, an elderly man. And I rang the doorbell and waited and I didn't hear anybody say anything. And I thought, well, maybe nobody's home. So I'm just gonna leave it at the door. And then as, as I was walking away, he yells through the window, hey, <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, somebody's home. I guess, I guess he, um, he was it was taking him a while to get to the door but he didn't bother to say just a minute or I'm coming or I'll be right there just nothing no sound at all so I thought well nobody must be home and um, no he was there just walking real slow and it didn't it didn't I guess it didn't um, dawn on him that somebody would think nobody's home if it's gonna take him that long to reach the front door so uh, so he, he opened the door and then he asked if I could bring it inside and put it on a table, which I did. I know a lot of people won't do that because they get, especially women, they get real nervous about going inside a stranger's house because they think they're going to get uh, kidnapped. But, um, you know, as guys, it's like, well, whatever. <laughs> so I went ahead and I dropped it. So I'm headed back home now um, and I'm going to wait for the next one. Got the next one from Uber Eats. I'm going to be going over to McDonald's. I'm going to get $7.60 for 2.4 miles. I just got an add-on to the order. I'm going to be going to It's Just Wings after I go to McDonald's. And I'm going to get an additional $6.20 for 1.1 miles. is uh, the uh, wing place and it's inside of Chili's. I'm going to park at one of their to-go spots and just walk inside and see if it's just sitting there on the shelf. That's usually what happens at uh, Chili's. Uh, Chili's order I think I could have gotten it faster if I would have went to the counter and told them I was here I was waiting near the um, like they have a rack they have a rack what is this guy doing God. it's like don't just stop in the middle oh he's gonna back into his parking spot of course he's one of those people yeah so I was going to um we just wait at the rack you know where they normally they just set the stuff there that's ready to go but maybe they've had a lot of thefts and they're not doing that anymore so I was standing there for the for about five minutes waiting for my order and then another delivery driver came in and the uh, the, the uh, employee saw that that person come in the door 
and she's like, oh, are you two here to pick up for somebody? And then she said her name of the cust of her customer and hers wasn't ready. It was gonna be like five to seven minutes. And then she, she uh, turned to me and I said the name for my customer and it was ready. <laughs> so if I would have just gone to the counter and said the name of the person, I would have been probably out of there uh, a long time ago. So I hardly ever go to Chili's, so it was a learning experience. So now I'm off to drop off the McDonald's. It's uh, 0.8 miles from here, a four minute drive. It's an apartment. Uh, it's a leave at the door. I have a building number. And of course I have no gate code. I'm in the complex and I have a feeling I've got to go a really long way around. I snuck in. Oh, wait a minute. Is it right here? The on, the right. on the right? Oh my gosh, I'm here. <laughs> I was on the correct side. Well, let's drop this off. Finally found the front door. I went the wrong way, of course, but I found it. And now I'm off to a, uh, I think it's a business, and it's 1.3 miles from here, a seven minute drive, and it's a meet at the door. All right, it's in this uh, complex here, coming up on the right. I don't exactly know the name of the business. Uber Eats, $5 and a penny for 7.8 miles. No thanks. I don't know the exact um, name because they never put the name of the business. That would be great if you did. It would be very nice and very helpful if you would put the name of the business and then I could more easily find it. That would be much appreciated, customers. Looks like it's going to be the Skin Factory. Hello. I got the next one coming up from DoorDash. It's not that great for the number of items I have to shop for. Sprouts, uh, 27 items. $19.38 for 4.2 miles. I really lucked out on this order. It was not hard at all. There was uh, eight distinct items and the rest were just multiples of the items, including this hydration powder mix that was super tiny. It was like this tall by this wide. You know, it's just like powder in a little tiny pouch or whatever, and they wanted 10 of those. So that that made it so worth the uh, trouble to go ahead and do it because, I mean, it was basically just like shopping for eight items for that amount of money. So totally worth it. All right, now I'm headed off to a house in a gated, well, yeah, a house in a gated community, I think. 
Six minutes from here, 1.9 miles. Forgot to mention, I was at the cash register uh, checking out and the, uh, the cashier grabbed one of the uh, containers of coconut water and it fell and it exploded and coconut water went all over the floor and I had to run back over to the section where the coconut water was and grab another one to replace it. So, <laughs> so you know what? You just have to adapt in this job to any situation that comes up. You got to just adapt. So that's what I did. We made it into the neighborhood for this order and I thought it was in a gated community because the customer's name was the same as this other customer who lives in a gated community. So I thought with a unique name that I saw, how could there possibly be two of them? But I was wrong, there's two of them. So it's gonna be the house over there with the van and the doors are open. It's one of those carpet cleaners or whatever. Let's see. Unless I passed it. No, that's it. Oh gosh, they got water gushing everywhere. Oh man, I'm gonna park over here and walk. Oh, I won't be able to film. I've gotta carry both of the heavy bags of um, groceries. This is gonna be the last one and it's from DoorDash. I'm getting, uh, well first I have to go to Great Harvest Bread. I'm going to get $6.50 for three miles and I'm already here. Man, that place was as busy as I've ever seen it. Not sure why suddenly it's so popular, but almost every table was full was taken. And because it was so busy, my order was not ready. So I had to sit down and they have these metal chairs with holes in them. They're like high they're like high chairs, like bar stools. And there's like there's like holes in the seat and when I and they're made of metal and I went to to like boost myself up to sit in the chair my pinky finger got caught in the metal hole of the seat <laughs> man I am just a mess I am just having problem after problem oh well we're gonna be going to I I'm going to a house <laughs> seven minutes from here 2.8 miles leave at my door place on table please man am I glad this day's over <laughs> All right, let's go. All the kids are getting out of school and the traffic, man, it is building up. I'm so glad this is the last one because the traffic is not friendly at all. And the kids are just a crawling. They're crawling the streets. Oh man. This is just a tiny little order and it's, it's not an easy one. I thought it would be easy, but it came with a lot of pitfalls, <laughs> including an injury to my hand. <laughs> but it's not serious. Nobody, nobody call me up and, and say you're worried about me. <laughs> I'm doing all right. <laughs> Let's see, is this next house coming up here on the right? Yep, it's this one right here. <laughs> Everybody, today is Saturday, October 5th. It's 9:36 a.m. And I got an offer from DoorDash to go to Petco and pick up three different items it says. And then go to Sally Beauty and it says to shop for one item at Sally Beauty. I'm going to get $22.67 for 6.6 miles.
There it is, a bucket and a big giant light fixture. Goes all the way to the ceiling. Hey, the Sally's Beauty, they just wanted one item and the item wasn't in stock. And then I let them know it wasn't in stock and the, the, the cashier recommended something else. And while I was in the middle of taking the picture, they responded with just, just refund the money. But I still sent them the picture of the item that the cashier suggested. And then they said, oh, that would, that would be fine. So I had to go back into the store and get it. So that's all done. And so now I've got all this aquarium equipment in the back of the car. And then I got some type of um, makeup thing. I'm not exactly sure what it is. And so the first thing I'm going to deliver is the Sally Beauty item. Seven minutes from here, 2.3 miles. It's a leave at the door. And it looks like it's a... Uh, it looks like it's a, no, I can't tell if it's a business or an apartment yet. All right, based upon the map, it looks like it's going to be a, a hotel that I'm going to be delivering the um, Sally's Beauty item to. So I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to the elevator, or up the elevator, down the hallway, find their door to drop it off. It's like a $10 item, so, but it's all a part of just hit, getting that money. So I'm like, well, I'm just gonna get it done. All right, I'm here in the parking lot where the hotel is. There's two hotels here, so I don't know if it's going to be the Hampton Inn Suite. Whoa, watch out, guy. Or the other one. There's like two different places trying to find the right address I don't see I see the address on the Hampton but on the residence Inn, there's not a clear place where they put the um, oh well the the dropped pin makes it look like this is the right hotel so I'm just gonna park and run in there and find the door A long time oh man the sign said to go left once I got to the right floor so I took a left and started walking down looking for the uh, you know for the the room number and I went all the way to the end and then there was an emergency exit door and I didn't see the number so I went all the way back to the sign at, uh, back to where the elevator was and the door was right next to <laughs> right next to the elevator which was so crazy because the numbers like let's say that the room number was 10 when I got out of the elevator and made a left the room numbers went one two three four five six seven eight nine and then they ended and I'm like well where's room number 10 and when I went back to the elevator the room number started with number 10 and then they went 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <laughs> Man. So that was irritating as I'll get out, but whatever, it's delivered. So now I'm d dropping off the Petco stuff. And uh, of course, it's an apartment. And uh, it's an apartment where 
the gate code it calls the customer and then they let me in and uh, of course it's going to be probably on the second or third floor and you saw I'm dealing with a bucket and this really long um, light light kit lighting kit and it's really long it's like uh, I want to say it's about four feet long so um, yeah I don't know if I'm going to be recording anything I'll try to I have I'll try stick shoving it in the bucket and then you know leaning <laughs> leaning it against my shoulder and my and my head as I walk and maybe everything will work out here we are everybody we're at the apartment complex and uh, oh wait is there somebody with that has the gate open uh, let's see I thought I saw somebody shoot out let me go over here yeah the gates open let me hurry up before the gate closes <sighs> at least I'm in I don't think I'm on the correct side of the building but as long as I didn't have to wait and the there was a lady at the entrance but she didn't look like she knew what the code was just based on her facial expression so now I'm just gonna follow my way around to the other side of this complex and um, hopefully just drop it off with no problem <sighs> this complex is not an easy one just because it has each building has two sets of stairs and it's and it's a each building is three stories so it is not fun and I believe the delivery is to the third floor so the only the only good thing is that the items I'm delivering are not heavy they're just awkward you know they've got a really long pole <laughs> you got a big bucket and then you got some, a tiny little thing of like some kind of aquarium equipment or something aquarium solution so now I'm just still looking. For, I'm following the the pin drop uh, right now because the gate was open. I have this place mapped out, but I don't really have, you know, the opportunity to pull up my Google Maps. I just have to first just trust that their their pin is right. All right, that says it's this building here on the left, but of course I can't see the building number, so I have to just keep driving till I can see the. Oh, it's it. All right, let's drop it. Got the next one from DoorDash. I'm gonna be going to uh, Del Taco. Seven dollars for three miles. ready and uh, the employee did not know how to package up a DoorDash delivery they were packaging it up like I was gonna eat it <laughs> and the manager came and corrected it so that took time but I got it and now I'm going six minutes from here 1.8 miles looks like a house um, leave it my door please do not ring the bell that is it I made it I'm in the neighborhood and not too much further now about a minute more to go 
until I can drop this food off and move on to the next one. So far, everything's going really smooth. It is Saturday, so the traffic's not bad. So everything's moving. And the weather's nice. There's no wind. The temperature currently is 93 degrees. Nice and cool today, so no problems. And uh, since it is Saturday, I'm sure I'm going to make my money real fast, and then I'll be done, which is awesome. And I started off a new routine where I'm doing um, walking on the treadmill. I did about a half an hour this morning. I'll do a half an hour this afternoon when I'm done. And then I'm going to do some stretching exercises using a walking cane to stretch out the muscles in my shoulder. And I have to say, it, it's all working out. I mean, it's not getting any worse and it is slightly improving. So I see there is improvement in my mobility of my shoulder. But anytime I do anything heavy is when I have problems. Okay, it's going to be on the left-hand side. That's the one with all the cars as usual. Whenever I deliver to a house, it's always the house with the most cars. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but it's always a house with a ton of cars. It's 11.04 a.m. And this is the last one. And I got it from Uber Eats. I'm going to be going on over to Sprouts. And I have to shop for a bunch of items. 12 items. And I'm going to get $19.24 for 9.7 miles. did it <laughs> it's all done all shopped and loaded up in the trunk I used the self checkout I had a few problems scanning some items but I worked it out I found every single item and I didn't have any trouble finding any of the items which was like a miracle because sprouts can be really difficult. If you've ever shopped at sprouts, everything is like you're in another country. You're like in the land of make-believe when you're in sprouts and nothing makes sense. Everything you look at looks like some strange Willy Wonka factory created product. So it's all done and I've got a long drive ahead of me, 18 minute drive. 8.6 miles it's a house it's a leave at the door I started eating this new cereal called uh, brand buds and it's it's not it looks like grape nuts but it's not the same um, hard hard texture as grape nuts it's a little bit more of a crispy texture and the reason why I started eating brand buds is I wanted to incorporate more fiber into my diet and more natural fiber. A lot of the products that they sell at the stores, the fiber is not really high quality fiber and it's, it can sometimes cause, it sometimes even though you're getting the, the, the right amount of fiber, it's not doing anything. It's like poor quality fiber. So brand fiber according to this YouTube video I watched this doctor who I guess specializes in digestive health said that brand fiber is probably the best fiber you can eat because it's it's you know it's natural and has all the nutrients in it and it, your body reacts very good to it very well to it 
for you know just making sure everything's processing along inside the body and inflammation's being reduced and all this good stuff so I tried it and I only had you only have to eat about a half a cup of it every day so it's not like it's a lot and when I first started using it I just did a, a quarter of a cup and then I mixed it with some regular cereal that I liked and then I also added just a little bit of Hershey syrup to make it taste a little bit more like cocoa pebbles and it worked it, it was really good I actually felt like I was eating a junk food cereal and uh, and I was getting about once I got up to half a cup of um, of the brand bud cereal I was getting about 17 grams of fiber from the uh, brand bud cereal and then I added in a banana to it and I got an additional two more grams of fiber so that's 19 grams of fiber then I added some walnuts to it and I got an additional I think three grams of fiber so what is that let's see 17 18 19 20 I don't know it's like 22 grams of fiber just for breakfast and so for men it's recommended you get 30 grams of fiber a day so once I eat this concoction in the morning it's so easy to uh, to hit the 30 grams because just eating just the regular crap you know that we Americans eat every day it usually has you know somewhere between two and three grams of fiber in the meal of whatever you're eating so you're easily reaching in your lunch and your dinner you're reaching the 30 grams so I recommend doing it if you're looking to increase the fiber intake of your diet and it's not expensive I got the box at Walmart for like four dollars and change and the box will last you about 10 days if you're the only one eating it so give it a try and let me know what you think All right, I got past the guard with no problems it was a smooth transition from civilization into rich man's world where houses don't go for any less than about 2.1 million <laughs> that's probably the minimum price since everything's gone up just in the regular neighborhoods the houses are always close to a million now which is bizarre living here in vegas i think the average house now for just a junky house now is like four to five hundred which is it's got to burst. This bubble has got to burst. I'm telling you. The prices are just unsustainable. I mean, unless people start to get, you know, get pay increases that are really significant to compensate for the cost of inflation. Other, otherwise, it just doesn't even make sense. I mean, people just can't afford it. It's going to be on the right-hand side. Yeah, I heard you. Drop off, drop off. I think it's this house right here yeah it's this one just trying to find the front door all right there it is I'm doing one more because uh, why not <laughs> because why not uh, from Uber Eats Bell go to Bell's barbecue nine dollars and 49 cents for 1.4 miles was not ready so they had some nice uh, comfy booths in there to sit and wait so it was not an uncomfortable experience so I was fine 
And boy, were they busy in there. There must be some big event happening today. I don't know what. Probably something sports related, no doubt. Because they were making that barbecue like nobody's business. They were just, they were stacked. The orders were just stacking up in there. And now I have to go, let's see, where am I going? <laughs> Where am I going? It's real close. I know that. Uh-oh. Watch out for this guy. Three minutes from here. 0.7 miles. It's a house. It's a leave at the door. Leave at front door. Thank you. Don't ring the doorbell. Well, that was not far at all. I just crossed one light and here I am. And let's see. This neighborhood, of course, has no gate. It's busy though, everybody's out and about. There's definitely a lot of cars going on, so everybody is uh, probably going out to lunch since it's 12.09 p.m. right now. Everybody's making their way somewhere. The weather's beautiful, it's the weekend, so why not? Get out there, everybody, <laughs> have a good time. Don't be like me, who all I ever do is work and work and work. Oh, I'm not going to work. At the end of the month, I'm going to go to some fancy dinner. So at least I have something to look forward to. I'm going to have probably steak and lobster or something like that. Probably something real fancy. Oh, this is a cul-de-sac. It's going to be like straight ahead. I think it's that gray house. Uh, let's see if I'm right. Uh, yeah, it's the gray house. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> 